go. Hello, everybody, and welcome. We have the fabulous Julia Sotis here today. <laughs> the fabulous, thank you. The fabulous and wonderful. Um, I gave her a call this morning because I, um, Brett and I are both going to be going to the Charleston Choice of Possibilities class with Gary Douglas, and we're so excited about it. We booked our tickets, but we're like, well, where do we stay? This is a venue, I guess, that doesn't have actual like hotels with it, so I um, had to call my expert and friend, Julia Sotis. <laughs> South Carolina <laughs> expert. <laughs> Yes, and you're one of the event creators and hosts um, for this class. I was just wondering, can you can you talk a little bit about like what's different about this venue and what you're excited about about it? Yeah, um, it's what's different about this venue and what's different about this class. This class has um, like over a hundred and. 40 people registered already like the pull is unbelievable and there's like dogs coming and kids coming actually only service dogs are allowed in the venue so hold on just service dogs are coming <laughs> and kids coming people are driving from across the country and flying in from all over the world and like the energy is just pulsing and I just like if there's a COP this year, I'm just so thrilled for this one. And um, part of it is the venue. Wow. So that doesn't look like a hotel. It's not a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a heritage building. Um, it's called the Galliard Center. And it's I think built in the 1800s. Um, and if for those of you don't know who don't know, um, Charleston's probably um, one of the most historic cities in America. It's where the Civil War started. The Civil War started a couple blocks away from this venue. Um, but this ven venue, um, it's like amazing. It's, it's a concert hall. And it also has like this beautiful big venue space on the other side. And then the upstairs is a big kind of royal library. And it's filled with like columns and pillars and all kinds of things it's like the most immaculate place kind of it's like a little bit italian um but I, yeah no i just i i kind of assumed everybody knew how amazing the venue was and georgia's like everybody does not know how amazing the venue was is so yeah we just wanted to let people know and it's undergone 142 million dollars in renovations in the last three years and so it's like brand new like the internet is top of the line you know like everything is completely brand new and it's all out of marble and the concert hall is really cool um i'm not sure what we'll be playing there that weekend but it's like where Kelly Clarkson plays or John Mayer or, you know, the big concerts and events in Charleston. So it's really exciting. It's really exciting. And so where, so um, you introduced the idea for me of booking an Airbnb. So in the last like five minutes, since we talked a few minutes ago, Brett has already booked us a fabulous place. It's within like five minute walking distance. Oh, awesome. Tell us, tell us about like Airbnb options and like hotel options and what yeah. you're so we have two room blocks at two hotels. Um, and then we also have a group rate at a third hotel, the Dewberry Hotel. And that's like $270 a night. It's a five-star hotel right across the street from the venue. The other two are the Courtyard Marriott and the Francis Marion. And they are about $180 to $200 a night. So it's not... Um, it's not as inexpensive as Houston um, or some other places in America, but they're a pretty good rate. And then, but there's a lot of great Airbnbs and they're starting to fill up. Um, so, but the, the Dewberry is an amazing, amazing hotel that I highly recommend if you want something more high end. And the other two are, are supposed to, are really nice hotels as well. Um, and there's so many cool Airbnbs. And if you've ever if, I don't know if you've ever been to Charleston or heard of Charleston or seen pictures of Charleston. It's amazing. It's, yeah, pictures. It's like, it's just so Southern and so charming. And these beautiful heritage buildings with palm trees everywhere, right on the ocean. It's, it's amazing. So you can find really, really good Airbnbs because they're in these usually amazing homes. So, and the hotels are great too. Oh, 
Oh, and the hotels are great too. That's awesome. Um, Brett found a, a little, um, an Airbnb the apartment, but it's got a beautiful um, porch. And that just reminded me of the South. Like, so we're going to have so much fun just kind of like bathing in the Southern. Um, That's exactly it. It's just like Southern. Yes, we, I think we're going to ha probably have to get like mint juleps, which is a drink that is like kind of notorious in the South and sit on the porch and watch the world go by. So <laughs> we're not waiting for retirement to do that. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, no. Um, Anthony and I ha are sharing an Airbnb with actually two other people and we are renting this humongous house with and we're bringing all of our kids and, and Anthony's best Ooh. friend is driving down from Pennsylvania and bringing down all of his three daughters and, and wow. Emily Russell's bringing her kids. So it's also kind of a kid class too. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, so it sounds like there really are a lot of different options depending on whether people are looking for hotels or rooms or sharing rooms. And yeah. um, so if people are looking to share a place, would it be best for them to post on the Facebook event page to just connect with people, say, hey, I'm looking for um, a shared option? Yep, yeah, we have a really active um, Facebook event page. That's what I've always done in the past when I want roommates is just go on the Facebook event, just search Charleston Choice of Possibilities. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for that information. I'm really glad that I called you this morning because I was like, I know Julie is going to know oh. the inside scoop on where to stay and how to, how to make the, um, the accommodations part really easy. So thank yes. you. Yeah. And also one other thing I'll mention is that if you are doing, I'm not sure, can you hear the shower right now? No. Nope. Oh, that's good. Anthony's showering and the door's <laughs> open. It's so loud. <laughs> I can't hear it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, but the other thing I will mention is that if you are staying at one of the three hotels um, that we've mentioned that we have room blocks at, they're all within walking distance. They're all within half a block. Hmm. One's literally across the street and the other is like a block and a half or two blocks away. So you don't have to um, get an Uber or a car if you are staying at any of those hotels. They're like really, really nicely close. So. Cool. And then when, when do those group rates expire? When would people need to book by? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I'm not sure, but I think one of them expires July 14th. So that's in two weeks. So yeah, it is time to book the, the hotels and you won't get the information about the hotels until you've registered. So even if you're on the fence about registering um, for anybody out there, just register. We won't be mad if you cancel at the last minute. It's better to just register and get all the information and start getting into the energy of the class. And usually registering helps the money show up too. Cool. <laughs> That's an awesome suggestion. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Julie. I'm really, really grateful that we had this little conversation to get clear on the different options. And Brett and I are very excited. Brett is going to actually be on the stream team for this class. So if people can't make it to the beautiful and luxurious and Southern, um, <laughs> gem of Charleston they can also watch online right yes you absolutely can and it's I think just the energy of the class if you know that's going to be a COP one stream because the energy is going to be just it's very different Gary's the thing also is Gary loves that energy that southern charm mm -hmm. and that antique you know old fa you know some of those old-fashioned things and just the magic it, it's a city that bleeds time Definitely. And, and Gary's favorite chef in America has four restaurants in Charleston and so we have Gary's restaurants booked every day at these really amazing restaurants so and and they're staying in this like incredible incredible presidential suite so that Gary and Dane are both going to be there and they're both really really excited and their bodies are happy to be there and they're happy to be there like they're really genuinely looking forward to it so that always creates a lot too oh, so awesome well yeah. Can't wait. Thanks. Thanks so much. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Bye, Jerry. Contact her if you have more questions about it, because she's a wealth of information. And Emily, I am. I take. I will talk to you about Charleston any day of the week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>